Getting married has long been a defined experience. A church ceremony, quick honeymoon to the tropics, build up your 401k, and plan a family trip to Hawaii every year during that measly two weeks you get, only to back out at the last minute so you can catch up on yard work and put some money away for a better trip next year to Disney. Ramona, will you marry me? Unfortunately, the life of a traveler doesn't typically fit within a white picket fence. There's a whole world out there to explore, and it's hard to argue that sharing it with someone you love is the best way to see it. That's why I married a traveler. Uh, we hope that uh, none of your flights are delayed and your baggage is never lost. Here's that. That's me, Shano. I'm a one-man band travel show producer. It hasn't made me rich by any means, but it has taken me places. And this is my wife. She's a travel photographer, and she's seen quite a bit of the world herself. Her idea of a dream wedding is a hometown spring ceremony with family and friends, and we're both outdoor people. With such a familiar beach setting, the typical honeymoon in Jamaica didn't even cross our minds. We like a little more culture shock than that. That's not to say we see eye to eye on everything. When Ramona travels, she plants her roots and immerses herself in the culture. She relaxes. When I travel, it's a go, go, go experience to see as much as I can see. Hardly a vacation. So in the spirit of compromise, our honeymoon destination will be a bit more demanding. Somewhere photogenic, cultural and relaxing, but still interactive, adventurous and exciting. All that wrapped up in a secluded and romantic package. Not asking too much. <laughs> Seeing that neither of us have ever set foot on the dark continent, the choice is almost made for us. African Honeymoon Safari. This is a lifelong dream for both of us, as it is for most. And if that dream was to be literally interpreted, then we'd have to go to the Great Serengeti of Tanzania. But why leave it at that when we're going to go all that way? So after six months of searching and researching, we finally found a reputable guide we both like named Jerry of Atlas Africa Safaris. Atlas Africa is a company which is registered 1995. It was my idea because I was a driver since 1990. Karibu Tanzania, Karibuni Wageni means welcome to Tanzania, welcome class to Tanzania. <laughs> 